Kate Middleton is already radiating summer energy. The Duchess of Cambridge debuted her tropical style on Sunday as she and Prince William kicked off the first full day of their Caribbean tour with a visit to a cacao farm in Belize. For the occasion, Middleton wore a blue floral, smocked Tory birch midi dress, which she paired with her Stuart Weitzman minx wedges and an Anya Hindmarch straw fan clutch. Related, Kate Middleton and Prince William's Caribbean Royal Tour details revealed. Later in the day, the couple visited the beachfront village of Hopkins, the cultural center of the Garifuna community in Belize. The area is known for its welcoming nature and the Duke and Duchess were greeted with a demonstration of Garifuna culture. Kate and William are representing Queen Elizabeth on their tour of the Caribbean, which began Saturday in Belize, as they honor the monarch's Platinum Jubilee Year, which celebrates her 70 years on the throne. The Duchess wore a different blue ensemble, featuring a lace Jenny Packham skirt suit and a matching clutch when the couple landed. At the family-run Chial Mayan Cacao Farm and Chocolate Factory in Maya Center Village on Sunday, Kate and William got to see firsthand how cacao is extracted to create chocolate. You make it look so easy! Kate exclaimed during the demonstration. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge originally planned to visit a different cacao farm in the foothills of the Maya Mountains, but cancelled after villagers staged a protest against colonialism and the use of a football field by the royals for landing their helicopter. People understands that local Belizean authorities advised against William, Kate, and their staff continuing with their plans as scheduled despite their willingness to speak with the indigenous people at the heart of the dispute. On Monday, William will take Kate to see an army training unit in the jungle, where he spent a period of time alongside the Welsh Guards when he was in the army. The couple will also visit the Bahamas, where they will take part in the Bahamas Platinum Jubilee Sailing Regatta at the Royal Sailing Club in Nassau, a place, and a sport, that was close to the heart of William's late grandfather Prince Philip. And in Jamaica, William and Kate are expected to celebrate the seminal legacy of Bob Marley, according to the palace. These are three countries with which Her Majesty has had an extremely warm relationship following multiple visits throughout her reign, a palace spokeswoman said earlier this week. Those trips have helped to provide inspiration for many of the engagements that their royal highnesses will carry out during their tour. As well as thanking the people of Belize, Jamaica, and the Bahamas for their support, across this eight-day tour, the Duke and Duchess program will focus on celebrating the rich cultures that are unique to these three countries, the spokeswoman added.